What is up guys, my name is Bill Ryan. I'm a real estate broker and a builder here at Marco Island, Florida. Welcome to my very first episode of what to look for, whether you're thinking about buying an existing home or you're thinking about buying and building a new home. So at least every couple of weeks, I wanna kind of bring you guys around and showcase what exactly you should be looking for prior to purchasing a home. So with that being said, let's start with something a little bit easier and that's cabinets. So the first thing you want to look at is the actual cabinet doors themselves. Make sure everything's lined up correctly and level. You don't want one door sagging lower than another. That's not good. Next, make sure everything fits in correctly. There shouldn't be trim pieces scattered everywhere. Everything should fit like a glove. Um, from there, a pointer I like to give people too is if you are building a home, um, just make sure your cabinets are pre-finished or pre-painted prior to going to the job site. Um, if you got to have your painters paint them or somebody else has to paint them, it's never going to match um, and the colors are always going to be off. So try and get pre-finished cabinets. Next, as far as the interior construction of the cabinet, I always tell my clients, whether you're buying a new house or an old house, just open the cabinet, touch them. You'll be able to feel a wood door versus a cheap door or a melanin or particle board door. This is an actual wood door. Obviously, it's got a glass insert in it, but it's heavy. Um, from there, we're going inside to the box. Now, with the box, you actually want to look for is a plywood box. You want to avoid melanin and particle board just because of the expansion if they get wet. So plywood's a plus. Um, and also, same with the shelving, you want plywood shelves. It's a little bit more money to have boxes like that, but they're going to last a lot longer. Obviously, on this, you see glass shelves here. That's a little bit of an upgrade. Um, and then from there, I always tell people little things like the screws should be capped. Uh, I've opened cabinets and I've seen screws kind of scattered everywhere. They all should be lined up correctly and capped so you can't notice them. So from there guys, let's go to drawers. Alright guys, now we're talking drawer construction. So top of the line, what you're looking for is a hardwood box with a dovetail finish. Um, what you want to avoid, same as cabinets, is the particle board, the melamines, and butt joint drawers. Most of these drawers, as far as hardware, are going to have the side slides, but what we did with this one, it's actually better, is you do the undermount slides, that opens up the box more, and you also get that nice, soft, close finish. Alright guys, once again, I'm Bill Ryman, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, I'm going to be doing this every couple of weeks. Subscribe below, and I'll see you guys next time.